laws currently exist and regulations exist on the books that could be enforced. A big problem out there is that prosecutors elect not to prosecute people who cause horrific crashes. Um, you, we will frequently hear a prosecutor say, well, this is really a matter for the civil courts. He didn't intend to do it. You'll also have prosecutors say, look, I've got, a, I've got an interstate that runs through my county, and I don't have a budget that, that from which I can pay for crash reconstructionists and, and spend twenty or $30,000 in prosecution against a guy who's from Pennsylvania, and I'm in Ohio. Um, it's not up to me to make this highway safer. It's an interstate deal. Uh, and my budget doesn't have enough money. We've heard that time after time after time. Uh, but, but the problem with that is that we have an epidemic of truck driver fatigue where people are getting killed and injured all across the country. And if, and if each individual prosecutor doesn't take the responsibility to do something about the epidemic, then it ends up that nobody is doing anything about the epidemic. And then we have the problem of sentencing. We've had, we've had truck drivers slapped on the wrist, reckless driving, $97, $97 fine for killing a lady. That doesn't make sense. If you've got a speeding ticket in your car, you're going to have more than a $97 fine. Uh, but we have, we've seen judges across the country, and, and they understand that these drivers really are just trying to make a living. But, but at some point, somebody has to take some personal responsibility and be accountable for the, the danger of this industry. More truck drivers are killed on the job than any other occupation. Five, more than 500 drivers are killed every year in truck, crash, in, in truck crashes. I don't know of any other industry where that's allowed. And, and you, you hear about a mine cave in and you've got uh, 15 miners who, who are at risk. They might be alive, they might be dead, and it's national news. We've got, f and that's a horrible situation. But we've got that happening on a regular basis to truck drivers, and people are looking the other way. We need to have this prosecuted at the industry or company level because that's where the problem lies. This is a management issue, this is a risk of the industry. The drivers, like I say, the drivers are a lot of times salt of the earth men and women who are doing their best to, to provide a service to the country and service to the industry. But the industry drives them longer and harder than they should. And the, the result is catastrophic death and injury all across the country. If we could get a change in some of the laws, as they have in Maine, to the point where company executives are criminally responsible for the violations of their driver's hours of service. You would see a lot of things change in the industry. All of a sudden, the, the industry wouldn't be fighting against electronic onboard recording devices because then they would have a very good interest in knowing when their drivers are falsifying. As it is now, oh, the logbooks are okay and we can audit it, we can run it through a scanner, and, and they don't really care. They don't care. All they want to do is be able to say that they're in compliance. And whether they actually are in compliance uh, isn't an issue. They just don't want to get um, a, a citation from the F FMCSA. But if they became criminally liable, you might see some changes that have been long overdue.